um, Aotearoa, who has been following the what's called the Murder by Decree document that was the catalyst for the UK um, standing down all their mandates. Um, it is now um, part of a criminal investigation, worldwide criminal investigation with the International Criminal Court as well as the Hague. Yeah. Um, so this is getting really, really serious. Um, this morning it was announced that Ireland's mandates have now been um, stopped as well. We know Australia was served five days ago. Um, Canada, I'm pretty sure they're using the same template while the truckers are doing their thing. And we now have a group here who have used that template to lodge the same criminal investigation here in New Zealand. There is a case file number. Um, that is available. Um, if you really want to keep up to play with um, the action as this um, decree is used um, for us here in New Zealand, please follow Bronson Pryor, P R I O R, as well as the brother J J A E Ratano, um, who was one of our fellow freedom uh, movement organisers um, who stands up for our children. So these guys have been working tirelessly around the clock. Jay, um, as well as, as one of our movements down in the Hauraki, the Kani Kani movement. Um, they have been throughout um, the Rotorua Bay of Plenty area in Auckland, um, serving notice of liability to all the vaccination centres. Yeah. Yes. So Good. what this murder by decree document actually states, there are 23 war crimes um, that these elites are being charged with um, and right now what is also happening is that in that murder by decree it gives every citizen of planet earth the right to perform citizens arrest on um, anyone who is pushing this bioweapon okay so that is a massive movement now we have a small that's a lot of people. people yes that's a lot of people if we all stand up this will all be over very quick mm. Um, so we have a very, very small group of people who are preparing and have been working with local police in the North Shore area um, to initiate the very first citizen's arrest here in New Zealand. Now, it has been put out there on Facebook, so I'm guessing that it's not a secret anymore, mm. um, as I was allowed to share this yesterday. Mm. But the first citizen arrest will be our health minister, Mr. Andrew Little. Good. So the paperwork has been drawn up, the police are involved, they will be assisting in the citizens' arrest, um, and that's what they are there to do, is just to play a role of guardianship, I guess, to um, oversee the proceedings to make sure this happens. Mm. Now, yesterday I was told it was going to happen today. Um, that's in New Plymouth, right? It's in New Plymouth, but it won't be happening until Friday, they're serving the murder documents, and then Saturday is when the arrest will be made. Um, so they are going to be uh, publicising all of that as it happens. Wow. Um, so that is really, really exciting. Now, every single parliament member has been served this murder by decree document. Already? Already. Um, the other service that was done was a notice of liability to all principals and board of trustees um, of every school in New Zealand yesterday. They all have it now? They all have it now. And this was a move pushed by um, a group called the NZSCU, or the New Zealand Schools Community Unite, founded by Sister Amy Beira, mm. um, who also helped us with um, one of our documents, our Notice of Liability, that is part of our Parental Protection Package. Um, she has been going like a trooper for the last three days. I know on Saturday she was going that hard, she made herself sick yeah. um, trying to get this all done. They have received a response, um, and that response was that they would have a verdict um, in regards to the jab rollout in schools on our 5 and 11 year olds. Yeah. Um, and the push for that really came about after Sue Gray's um, submission to the select committee hearing on Friday with Dr. Matt Shelton, yeah. um, who confirmed that there was a laboratory in New Zealand um, investigating the ingredients in the Pfizer community vaccine, and it has been confirmed that they have found um, nanotechnology, nanotechnology yeah. within the Pfizer vaccine here in the wilds in mm. New Zealand. Yeah. Okay, so this is here. This yeah. is in, we're not going to worry about the rest of the world. 
that's been confirmed here. Now, Dr. Judy Ward, who was a part of this investigation team, um, she activated us uh, two nights ago to release this information, and I have the email, um, and it was more of a safety concern for her that if she put all of this out now, as well as her name, um, if she is found dead, mm, then we be know why. why. Yep. Yeah. Um, so this is getting really, really serious. Mm. Um, in this document that she emailed to all of us, um, it has all the laboratory findings, um, everything that we could possibly need um, in the way of evidence in a criminal court. And this is all okay to share now? It's all okay to share now. So, so if you see this video... Yes. Um, what I am doing is I am sharing it with the people who gave me their emails um, over the last couple of days, as well as my pretty much my whole email list, um, as well as some of our other groups so they can share it through their wider communities. And it's up to us to just share it all out, like a big chain reaction, I guess. Um, so there's a mess of things happening. This week is looking like it's a top of the popcorn week. It is. And, um, it's yeah, very, it's, the show. it's very exciting. But Honestly, sit back, for anyone know. who hasn't hasn't woken up to this agenda yet, it's time to start watching That's because right. it's coming now and it's happening all over the world. Uh, we are not alone here in New Zealand. Yeah, the but demonstrations happen.